Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you've been around the channel at all, you know that stoves are pretty common here on the channel and stove reviews. In fact, I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as too many stoves. Question is, is there such thing as too big of a stove? Over the years, I have tested tons of stoves, some of them weighing only a few grams. Well, that's not the case today. This is the Bulin 6800W, which they label, and I quote, a portable, lightweight, outdoor folding stove. Carrying case is very nice. We will open up this virtual ultralight stove, and there it is. We'll open up the bottom. It has these nice legs, very robust legs. Open that bad boy up. Dimensions are 7.2 by 3.9. It weighs a very hefty two pounds. The materials are uh, stainless steel. It is made in China. Okay, has a couple of features to note. A preheat tube right here, and you can see the piezo igniter as well. The load capacity is crazy. It says it will hold 165 pounds. Again, that's amazing for a portable lightweight outdoor folding stove. Claims to boil one liter of water in two minutes. That seems pretty fast to me, but looking at it, maybe, maybe it can do it. Cost is $59.99. You can put these all the way in and use something really small, like even the tokes. I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll just melt it. But anyway, you can also open these up and use these interior uh, legs right here. Or if you're gonna use something really big, you just open it all the way up just like that. One thing before I let y'all go, uh, and we boil some water. It does have like a four foot gas um, hose, and I think that's really good. This thing gets so hot, you do not want the gas sitting right next to it, so it's nice that they give you this long cord. I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups of the flame pattern at night, and then we're gonna boil some water. Okay, well this ought to be fun. This is the Bulin 6800. It does have a piezo igniter, you can see it right there. This uh, gas, canister is way away from this thing. Let's get it going. There you go. Looks pretty tame. You can really crank it down nicely. Has very good control. It can get untamed. I mean, that's awesome, isn't it? I mean, is that not awesome? It's like a little jet engine. All right, Bulin 6800, let's get this thing going. It's not uncommon with these big burners for it not to get all the way up to 212. It is boiling strong. And we are at three minutes, basically. Three minutes for a one liter boil. That's pretty impressive. Now, in case you're wondering, it was three minutes, but it used 22 grams of fuel. So what do I think about this stove? Well, obviously it's not lightweight. It's, it's not light at all. It's not really for packing around. It's pretty darn big and it's pretty darn heavy. That said, if you consider it a stove for car camping, emergencies, or even off-grid living, two pounds is a pretty reasonable weight. The power is impressive, and the flame control is as well. I have been asked to review this stove multiple times, and I'm pretty glad that I picked it up because it's just a lot of fun. It is super cool. It's not always that you're looking for an ultralight stove. Recently, we've had all kinds of weather. Hurricanes, we had an ice storm. I pulled out my butane stoves many times in the last six months to cook for the family at home. Sometimes having a big stove like this is just perfect. Having multiple stoves is also nice. You can cook different things. You also can help people out if they don't have a stove. If a family member, for example, doesn't have a stove and you have several of them, being a little bit extra prepared can make a difference and you can help them out. 
It's also good to have a variety of stoves because some will work on propane, some will work on isobutane or butane. Yes, sometimes you will have uh, adapters that you can go in between, but some stoves won't allow you to adapt between. So if you're in a longer situation without power and you need to fuel your stoves, if you run out of propane and you have something larger like this that'll run off of butane or isobutane, it's really good to have around. This stove is robust. It is very well made and it performed extremely well in our testing. Nothing I can say negative about it. The things you know that are negative are the things you know going in. It's big, it's heavy, it's not necessarily cheap, but it works in the situations that it's designed to work in. So what do you guys think? Did you like this review? Like I said, I've been asked many times to make it and I've had a lot of fun doing it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did like the video, do me a favor, stop right now and hit that thumbs up down below. The thumbs up really helps our channels grow, guys. It helps spread our uh, videos around YouTube, works with the algorithm, whatever it might be. So do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, and I know a lot of people are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button to make sure you see all my videos. I have tons of great videos. I have over 100 stove videos. Make sure you check that playlist down below and up here in the cards as well. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know up here enjoying some beautiful time in Arkansas, having a great time on my video trip. I'm doing a trip where I'm shooting tons of videos because I don't have a lot of time during my day-to-day -day life, so I get to take a couple of days off. My wife and kids are nice enough to let me escape out here and shoot a bunch of videos for you guys. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <laughs>